This week I've gone along to a car boot sale. Here in the UK you can find some great deals. And I'd been looking for a Buddha for a while. And the ones I'd seen at the garden centre, because I wanted a solid one, a, the concrete one, and the ones that I'd seen at the garden centre were anything from 30, 40, 50 pounds, even for the small one. And I did find, um, it was a van actually, they were selling garden ornaments, and I got this solid Buddha for four pounds, so I thought that was a really good deal. And then I live in a ground floor flat, and you get a lot of damp, well, cold and damp feeling from the floor because it's only a thin carpet. So I thought thought this um, old-fashioned bot bot bottle warmer would be perfect, really. Wrap it in a towel and put it at my feet. So I've got a foot rest and it would heat my feet up. And I've just been filming for my Sit Back Sunday video. And I've called at a Morrison's, it's quite late on now. And I got two steak and ale pies from 325 down to 163. A small cob loaf from 69p down to 35p. Barbecue four Indian style kebabs and those were Four twenty-five down to one pound and seven pence. As were the sweet chili turkey steaks, four twenty-five down to one pound and seven pence. So it cost me a pound to get into the car boot sale, but look at that beautiful for four pounds. Late Sunday evening and I've been out hunter gathering. That's it for plums where I normally go. And those were, well, windfalls really. There was, I think there was three left on the tree. And it's only the end of July. I think it's just too early. And there's quite a lot of damage on them, but there's no, no plums at all this year. But we did, I did find quite a few blackberries that are just ready. You know when the ones on the end ripen first? I did get more than that, but the, those are the only ones that actually made it home. And I found just one or two wild raspberries. It's a little bit late for raspberries. But before I went for a walk, I actually called it a Sainsbury's. And yes, I did. I found four things for tenpence. Tomato and Italian cheese salad from 190 down to 10 pence. A net of courgettes, 250 down to 10 pence. A celeriac, 93p down to 10 pence. And this sweet crunchy stir fry reduced from 150 down to 10 pence. I thought that would be ideal with the sweet chilli turkey steaks I got reduced yesterday. So 40p all in all for all that. I've just got two of the turkey steaks there cooking and I'm going to add some of that crystallised ginger because this is a sweet chilli sauce and then I'm going to add half a bag of the stir fry I've got the plums there soaking in a little bit of soapy water I think I'll have to cook with them because I did actually pick them up off the floor so that's going to be two of the turkey steaks and then I'll repeat the process and um, have it cold the next day, I think. So that's my Sunday night 
tea. Sweet ginger chilli turkey stir fry with yoghurt, hedgerow berries and some of the crystallised ginger. Wednesday evening and I called quite early on and I was really surprised to see how much was being reduced and she was just going round and reducing it again. Just let's have a look and see what time I actually got to the checkout. It was ten past five. This is Sainsbury's. You've no idea what willpower it took not to eat that in the car coming home. One pound seventy five down to forty four P that beef pastry. I got ten of their eggs, their basic range eggs, and those are only one pound sixty six. I got the pizza reduced from three fifty down to eighty nine P. I got some of their ten percent. 12 meatballs, 10% fat and they're still £2.25. Some of their basic range fish fingers, 80p. But she was just reducing this for the second time. There were three of them and she'd given two to another lady and she said, would you like this? I said, yes please. And it's half a sweet and smoky barbecue already roasted chicken. Five pounds down to one pound twenty four. Those are my bargain buys Wednesday evening. I think I'll have that for my tea. Or maybe that. Ooh, decisions, decisions. It's the pizza. Had some of that spicy Indian chicken that I'd already cooked left, so I used some of that with some apple that I'd cooked with it. So it's just some apple and a little bit of chicken on it as well. Delicious, hot. I've been taking a few blueberries every day from my blueberry bush as soon as they're starting to, to ripen and popping them on my windowsill so that I'm not in competition with the birds. So I think today with some of those eggs that I've just got from Sainsbury's, 166, I think I'll make blueberry pancakes. It's just two ounces of self-raising flour. I say pancakes, it might just be one. I'm using stevia instead of sugar. A little bit of sugar. Well, stevia. An egg. Enough milk to turn it into a batter, a pouring batter. Add in the blueberries. Little bit of oil, along with a little bit of butter.
think I'll just spread the rest of this butter. Some sliced banana, I think. I did go earlier in the week to um, Marks and Spencers to buy their value range. They've still got the chicken portions at 150. I got these bananas. That one's a bit bad there. And um, some of the yogurt. Still 75p for this live yogurt. So we'll just top the pancake off with that. So that's my Thursday morning breakfast. My own blueberries. <laughs> 